Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just going to be a little quick report that someone has been sending me videos about and said apparently nobody's reporting on this. All right, today is Monday, August 10th, and it's 8.18 a.m. And the thing of it is that Hurricane Isaiah uh, has knocked out power in Connecticut. And 400,000 were without power to start with. And today... Uh, let's see, what day is this? This is CT Post. I guess that's Connecticut Post. Um, it's dated August 9th, Sunday, 9.02 p.m., 144,000. Oh, wow, 144,000? Is that a sign or what? Oh, my gosh, that just hit me. <clears throat> without power lawmakers urge Eversource CEO to resign because they think they should have had him back by now well sometimes these storms people don't realize what damage they do but anyway it says as of Sunday afternoon Jasper please be qu quiet Jasper please be quiet <coughs> okay, sorry. As of Sunday afternoon, about 136,000 Eversource customers remain without power. According to the outage data provided by the company, as many Connecticut residents... <laughs> Woke up to their sixth day without power. Sunday. The state's largest power supplier has said most of the state should see their power restored before midnight Tuesday. Now, hmm, Tuesday. Well, that's a little encouragement. A week after Tropical Storm Isaiah pounded the Northeast. As of Sunday afternoon, about 136,000 Eversource customers remain without power, according to outage data provided by the company, with more than 741,000 customers restored since the storm began. 741,000 customers restored since the storm began. Crews have made significant progress, and we expect 90% of all our customers will have power on Sunday evening, the utility company said in a tweet Saturday. Now, I wonder why they're reporting in the body of the letter of the report, 136,000, and then in the title, it says 144K without power. Perhaps 136,000 are in Connecticut, but they're not saying where the other ones are from. Why would they put 144,000 in the title? I find that mighty odd. Anyway, there it is. That's the news from Connecticut. And, um,. I hate it for them. I really do. I remember when that one hurricane went through Florida. I had a subscriber down there. And they were out like two weeks. Uh, they were in the, I want to say Orlando area. But I could be wrong. Kind of in the middle of the state. And they were so hot. And all they could do is try to um, stay wet, I guess. I think she said it's been a while. You know the one I'm talking about. It it hit. It was supposed to hit the eastern side. Um, they thought the keys were going to be totally destroyed, and at that time Lena was in the Florida Keys, and she said she walked around her neighborhood 
and prayed and prayed and prayed. Well, that whole Florida Key was spared, and they were basically untouched, but then it came up and around, and it, it ended up damaging part of the east, but then it went through the state, got the middle of the state, and then the western side of the state was more affected than, a, than Miami. I think Miami was without power a little while. It's been a few years now. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, <clears throat> this Isaiah was supposed to do more damage than it did, and it looks like Connecticut got the best of it. Anyway, that's the end of my report. <laughs> And I don't know how much I'll be talking to you later. <laughs> I gotta try to call the doctor and see if I can get a... <coughs> a prescription. I think. I'm praying. I don't know. I'm praying for the Lord to tell me what to do. Uh, please continue to pray for me because I do not want to end up in the hospital. Just because whatever's going around is going around is probably the annual flu, and I don't want to catch it on top of this. I just, I just don't believe what's going on. It, what they're saying is what's going on, but something's putting people in the hospital. Okay, so we, we can't just say oh, nothing is going around because something's going around. I think it's just. I don't know, but the lady here, the employee here, who said last weekend that her niece and her husband had tested positive. Um, the husband got put in ICU. Well, all I asked her yesterday or Saturday was, how are things going? I know she knew what I meant, and she said, just fine. She was in a whole better mood about it, so they must he must have got out of ICU and and they're doing well. So they made out like this thing is so deadly that we just gotta stay six feet apart, wear our masks and all this stuff. And somebody's sent me something, um I just saw the title, what was it? Oh my gosh. Councilwoman wants murder charges if you don't wear a mask. Oh now see that's just going way, way, way beyond. Beyond. That's not the one I was... Where's the other one? Said that top, top European doc masks won't work. Okay, let me click on that. Steel report 3171. The steel report. Top European doc. Probably says masks won't don't work. No, they don't. They don't. Because if you sneeze into it, those particles are going to blow right through it. I thought about doing an experiment like coughing into my mask and holding a mirror up to it and seeing how much uh, like how does how badly does it fog up you know like as if you did it right in front of the mirror it's going to fog up but I never did get around to doing it So anyway, that's the still report. If anybody wants to check that out, top European doc, no evidence, masks work. But the title is top European doc, masks don't work, 3173. Apparently, he numbers his videos. I should have thought of that. 3173, okay? So you can listen again and write all that down if you want to check it out. Okay, with that I'm going to end it, and um, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day, and um, 
I pray for each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, over this video, and over all of our devices and our internet connections, and over myself, <laughs> so that uh, the precious blood of Jesus will heal me, and I won't need to go anywhere. I'm not going. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not going. I don't want to have to refuse. <laughs> anyway, that I'll say bye for now. Talk to you later.